Hi Libras, welcome to your meeting on here today. We begin with, uh, today we're doing new love. I almost forgot what we were doing. So yesterday you might have felt a little bit more renewed in your position today. You could feel like you have more energy because the full moon brings that in. It brings a sense of renewal, get a new sense of energy. Welcome back to the channel. And also I realized that all of your birthdays are coming up pretty soon in the next week or a week and a half from now. Um, it begins September 23, so Libra season is going to be really exciting for all of us as we get into birthdays and greeting each other on the channel. Let's get started with love and romance. We're going to bring out the pink deck. I was inspired today to dress as if it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> and so if you're wondering why all the red is around, it's because I felt a little festive for love. So let's get into new love. Uh, what are the cards? Thank you. Celebrate nice this is like the four of wands with these glasses they're filled with like a pink tonic drink it says today celebrate the love you share with those who matter most i'm getting like family vibes maybe somebody's visiting you libra or they want to okay it is a time to celebrate the full moon's passing some of the manifestations that you've done it's good to do that during a new moon not so much a full moon full moons are about realizations and the light being shown on something so we got celebrate as we hang out together. We have anticipation for what <laughs> with the tree. What do we have anticipation for? Embrace the sweet anticipation of love's arrival in your life. It's coming. It even says it kind of fortuitous at the bottom. It says it's coming <laughs> with the tree. All right, tree of knowledge. This is giving me family vibes or in the future, you will be building upon a family if you're not yet married. Um, for me, I haven't had any children yet. I'm a Libra sun and a Cancer moon. So that's, I mean, these are cards you want to see in a reading like today's, especially for my beautiful DFs, okay? Anticipation. Why is anticipation building? These cards definitely want to talk. I was being called to this deck today too. It was like, you know, I wanted to use it because it's been a long time, but this particularly wants to talk this morning. We have a beautiful attraction card. You are attracting the right person at the right time into your life. This is what's called complete alignment. You're, if you're a Libra here for new chapter stuff, I mean, I highly doubt anyone's here for the old, but you're aligning with a specific someone, okay? Attraction right there. Okay, anticipation for what? <laughs> twin flame right here. Um, a lot of you have released your thought on TF. Maybe you're more in the soulmate group. That's completely fine. We all have our different views on TF and soulmates. So this says, trust the magnetic pull of your twin flame. It will guide you towards them. If you're being pulled to go to a particular place or show up, or your body is almost telling you to go to a coffee shop at a certain time, or to pick up even your order, there's a reason for that. There's a divine calling for the two of you. The flames are getting attracted to one another. I don't know if some of you have been thinking that lately. Like I'm I'm almost getting that you're attracted to go to certain places that you normally wouldn't. And we have the X. It has a message about them on the card. It says healing from past heartbreak or wounds takes time. Be patient with yourself. And she's sitting by a window at night. So some of you could have a lot of cognitive new plans at night. Maybe you're getting your visions back. So congratulations if those are getting richer. Mine are getting more colorful. And I don't know if your guys' dreams are getting a little bit longer and more vivid. We have the X here. It says release them. Be patient with yourself. Temperance energy, Archangel Michael energy. Okay. Last card for the new Lovians. Please make it good abundance you guys keep getting this in different decks um the energy oracle it'll come out as abundance for you sacred destiny with the daisy and the flower will come out for you this is also pentacles so if you're working very hard bottom of the deck wish someone you wished for is coming into your life beautiful with some very nice wishful daffodils maybe i'm wrong on the type of flower but it says someone you wished for is coming into your life next to commitment Okay, so we have commitment coming in, Hierophant energy underneath that. It says, open your heart to receive the abundant love the universe wants to reward you with. This is good karma. This is good behavior. Libras are very good about um, obeying the path. You know, they always feel like they know what the reward is at the end. And I believe that you've joined here today 
because you're looking for those signs yourself. Maybe you manifested this particular video. I'm gonna leave a couple cards on here. Some of them are self explain We're gonna go with celebrate abundance and attraction for new love. Let's go with our weird Alice in Wonderland. Welcome my beautiful Libras. Happy birthday season coming up. We're gonna be saying goodbye for the Virgos. Um, I've actually enjoyed Virgo season. It's been eye-opening. There's been a lot of things too that I've learned through reading for you. Let's get into your new love cards. Let's clarify attraction. Alrighty, beautiful. So let's see, you are attracting the right person, the Empress, definitely. I think this is speaking of your ability. I think it's talking mainly about you. Empress is Taurus and Libra, as you know, but it's she's all four queens. Um, this person has a charisma, a charm, and I think today somebody notices that about you. As you lead up to your birthday, maybe you become more open with posting online or maybe some of you are experiencing a proud moment or recognition. So you're an Empress energy today. Good job, my loves. You're doing a really great job there. That's high vibrational for me. The split is, please don't show me the tower. Eight of swords. Um, I feel like that's environmental. Somebody around you could feel restrictive to come and talk to you. This is a little bit of old energy, but if it's a new person, they might be shy. Okay, I'm picking up a very shy masculine who cannot say their feelings outrightly. You could be very intimidating <laughs> with your abundance. High vibrational person. Very I think to uh, releasing the past was very, very good for you. I think it actually freed you with these two cards. It allowed you to make more money. I think some of it even was detailed in the workplace for you. A lot of you let go of old limiting beliefs with that Eight of Swords. So definitely, this is showing me a lot of Empress energy. I'm very proud of you, masculines and feminines. Let's get the environmental strength, needing courage. I believe your guides have been sending this to you over and over again. For my divine masculines, I do take you as very, very strong naturally. Libra men can be that way. Libra females, I think you call on to this. Not a lot of people know your strengths. You might even be like, forgive me for saying this, but I get from the card that not too many people know your capabilities, okay? Um, they're surprised to know that you're very strong when they learn about you strength card here in blue okay any other feelings please give me um give me a lot of cards thank you one is here the tower definitely this is the tower i expected yesterday so a new love something new comes into your life this is an aha moment it's an upheaval it's something that changes the norm we got the tower very nice two more cards two of cups new love Someone find, I get, I get the word enchanting. I get that you have a correspondence with this person already. So maybe they've seen you. Some of, some of these people might be like direct friends uh, where you tend to dwell a lot, Libras. So if there's an app that you use, maybe Instagram, there's something that somebody is admiring about you in the Two of Cups. It's a union card. The Two of Cups is a minor arcana, but it doesn't take away from its beautification. There is a lot of socialization right here, and I'm expecting more socializing cards today for you. King of Cups, Scorpio. It's also a water sign in your direct midst, or you've become this very mature King of Cups. Even I as a female, I have Cancer in my moon, okay? So the water signs are, you know, I'm very sensitive to them. I take the King of Cups as myself when I do a reading, but maybe some of you think that there is a king of cups around you i'm going to put him by the empress and do clarification here king of cups for the empress king of cups for the empress in new love what does this person feel please and thank you temperance judgment major arcana feelings right off the bat you have no minors so they feel patience they feel guided toward you somebody's made a decision to come your way with judgment it's a king of cups Faux show and a bag of chips. <laughs> All right, let's see here. The split. We have something with holding of hands. Three of, I knew it, three of cups. Getting together with you for food and drink. If this is planned, I'm getting a couple of you. Uh, I'm getting more DFs today. I don't know why. I'm connecting to the females a little bit more in the morning read. 
Three of Cups is already planned for some of you. I think that you are already going to meet this person, okay? Three of Cups, that's a strong statement to say, but I'm following through with my gut. Three of Cups, please. Can I see this new date or event? Eight of Pentacles, they are going to try and impress you. This is effort, efficiency, the eagerness to work with you. That's why there's a celebration here coming up. Let me show you the cards. That's why the Oracle speaks before you do tarot. Uh, we have effort here from this person and then we always, we always, we almost have a celebration coming up for you, a planned celebration. Even if this is something else, there's cohesive energy to work with you, okay? People see the caliber of working with you. If you don't believe that about yourself, I think you're you're wrong about that. I think people want to put in effort where it matters and they want to show up for you, especially around your birthday season, okay? You're going to see people change their tune around you. You don't need any of that validation, but this King of Cups definitely wants to reach you. I want to get to the cream of the crop of that because the Three of Cups is very basic, you see. So we have to define that a little bit deeper. Judgment is a final decision from this person or that could be yours, Libra. Thank you. Five of Swords. Okay. They might feel pain connected to you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius of the Five of Swords. They might feel like it's a little bit difficult for them to reach an idea to you. There could be an intimidation factor here or this person has fears. The Five of Swords seems like an ex. I'm going to be honest with you about the fears portion that I mentioned. This could be an ex that's still watching you. It almost gives me like the Seven of Swords, but they've dumbed it down to the Five. Okay? I'm going to leave my comments there because we're going to have other videos today. Uh, King of Cups, please. They're true innate feelings. We have the Star, which is right here in purple. Ace of Swords. The Emperor. They could be an Aries. Got another Libra here. We have an Aquarius now in the lineup. Truthful feelings about how they're attracted to you and new love. The Ace of Swords is like a breakthrough. Uh, it is a major breakthrough that comes in during a time that you've requested manifesting the Two of Cups. I believe it's this person. Point blank period. It can't be coming from anyone else unless a lot of you are talkative right now with family and friends. Okay, because the Two of Cups can be friendship too. It could be a bonding between you and another person unrelated to you and love. However, for me, sometimes my nephews are the Two of Cups because I spend a lot of time with them. So they are my Two of Cups people, my one little Gemini and my Virgo, <laughs> who I'm going to go pick up from school today. Ace of Swords is a truth, but we have it coming from an emperor um, this is one of the very few times I've seen in readings where the Empress, let me grab her real quick because this is interesting. Our Empress is being helped by Alice in Alice in Wonderland. We have an equal divine pair. A couple of years ago, I told you guys on the channel, these people are going to be more drawn to find each other in society. Matched pairs who are vibrating at the same level. So we have a perfect pair match here. Some of you could be dating an Aries, a Libra, uh, Three of Cups is Cancer, but the Tower is also Aries and Scorpio. So those are some of the new signs that could be attracted to you. I also have Fire over here. Five of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius too. Show me this temperance. What's this patience? Uh, is that Libra's patience or is this coming in very quickly to a healed star? And remember, the star is not a small card. It's something in a reading that shows immense healing, a lot of growth. Maybe some of you journal quite a bit. I'm even getting an artist on the channel who draws their feelings. Like I get that maybe you you draw a lot of your intimate feelings. Show that art to people, you know. Show that because I feel like people need to see that. Temperance. Temperance with Sagittarius, the death card. You completed something successfully. If there is an ex that uh, still looks at you, Libra, for your abundance, I feel like this person knows they did you wrong. They ended it with the wrong empress. They ended it with the wrong person. This is generally a combination because of good karma, which was revealed at the beginning of our video. You've done your part. I believe some of them might owe you an unpaid karmic debt, but you may not see that in this lifetime. You might just be getting rewarded now 
the universe has called judgment. That's Scorpio to this card. And your patience will be rewarded because you closed out a chapter successfully. The death card was a card of yesterday, but I don't want to count it in that view. You should just look at it as properly transmuting energy because it's death, right? Death, rebirth. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go to a lengthy bonus. I did have a special request from one of your Libra friends on the channel. So I'm going to get into that uh, via shuffling. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> 